We're here at Prime Acoustic, and uh, one of the things that a lot of people don't realize is that while you can put acoustic uh, tiles everywhere in your room, sometimes you just don't, you can't do that, and you just want to make sure that that voiceover is really going to work. Sometimes you can get away with just putting a shield in, on the other side of the mic. The big thing is, is that a lot of the audio is coming straight out, and if it doesn't bounce away immediately, if it doesn't bounce back immediately, you're not going to hear an echo. And so uh, these are great little guards here. We have a, a splash guard here. Uh, this is the smallest one. You have a crash guard here that's going to cover a little bit more of an area. Uh, and this is the Vox guard that com kind of comes around uh, the mic. All of these are great things to look at, or something like it, even if you build your own, is a, is a great solution to look at if you, just, if, you, if you can't rebuild your whole office, if you're doing a podcast and you just need to set something up temporarily. Um, this is a lot less uh, permanent than what you're going to see if you have to build out the whole room. And, and it's not going to be the same, but it can, get, it can knock down 70, 80% of the sound that is really becoming problematic when you're doing your voiceover. So once again, Prime Acoustic, uh, check it out. So we're here at Joko, and one of the things that I oftentimes, you, you, we're at a big concert and we're trying to record everything, and I want every track, I want it all. But it, you know, either I have something that's really expensive and complicated, or I just can't get all the tracks. Well, that's what this handles, okay? So what this is is the black box recorder, and what you have here is you can record all 24 tracks, and so all of that stuff can feed right into this, into this recorder here. You can control bit rate, sample rate, et cetera, and you can grab all of that information, and look at this, check this out. All of this is recording into a USB disk. Now here you have just a, a little thumb drive in there and that's, that's really all you need. And so what you're able to do is grab all of that stuff here and get all, that, all the raw information. There's not a lot of, you're not doing a lot of mixing, you're not doing a lot of effects, that's for somebody else to worry about. This is so that you can bring it back and deal with it properly and it's a low, low bandwidth, low you know, control process where you just don't have to worry about it. It's not some big piece of, of, in, of environment that you're adding to what you're doing. It's simply um, something that can, that can grab all that stuff raw, put it on something small, these are just WAV files that you can handle later, and, uh, and, and then deal with it in post and get it, mix it back to exactly what you want. So once again, the, the, it's called the Black Box Recorder, and it's from Joko. So we're here with Soundfield. Now, you, you, you probably haven't heard of Soundfield, but they are, uh, it, it is really, we're talking about really high-end location sound that allows you to basically have a single microphone that's going to give you surround sound later uh, if, if that's something you need. So this is, the, this is called the ST450. And essentially what you have here is this is a controller unit and this is the microphone. Now, inside of this microphone, you have uh, uh, some uh, mics that kind of look like this here. Okay, so you have mics that are pointed in all the different directions that are necessary to grab the audio from everywhere. Now, what happens is, is that, that um, this is taking power and all that information back into this controller box. Now, this controller box has a couple things that are going on. You've got a headphone, you can listen to the headphones here. But you also got a couple interesting controls here, pattern and width. What's happening is, is because you're grabbing all of that audio in all the different directions, um, what you can do is actually change the pattern of the microphone and change the width of what it's picking up um, in real time as you're listening to it. Uh, now that's only coming out in stereo. Now that stereo can come back to your camera. We can just feed that back into the camera. You can get something that, that works for whatever you're capturing, something you can edit to. But they also have this thing called a B format, which is, which is uh, this information here. So out of here, you can send everything out in what they call the B format. That can go out to something like your, um, your sound device 788 or, or whatever field recorder you're using. You can grab all those channels, bring them all back in, and when you're in post, you can now move the microphones around. You can open them up, you can close them down, you can change the direction because you have all the information of all the sound in all the different directions. And so this is the interface that you see here. So in this interface, and this pretty much works with anything that you're, uh, you're doing, this interface Essentially, um, you have the different levels, um, and you'll see the, the uh, W, X, Y, and Z. You can decide you know, in your surround sound which, which way you want to go, uh, the, the patterns, uh, you know, all of the other pieces there to kind of um, put back together the surround sound the way you want to do it, the 5.1, whatever you want to do there, uh, you can do all of that from a single mic point. Now, it's not necessarily a cheap solution. I think it's about 6,500 bucks for, for this little piece. But remember, you can also rent these kind of things uh, in, in certain places, and especially in places like LA or, or whatever. Um, but if you're really looking for that high quality sound, if you're going to go out and do that location sound, if you're going to go out and do uh, you know, sound for documentaries, this is a great solution of, to gather everything and be able to have that complete control that you need later. So once again, it's called the ST450, and it's made by Soundfield. So we're here at Sheps, and you 
probably haven't heard of Sheps unless you're really into audio, but this is one of the standards when it comes to really, really high-end field recording. Now, they have a, a lot of really high-end mics. Check this mic out. This is called the Super CMIT, and what it does is you've got a shotgun mic. We've seen that before. But you also have another mic here that's pointed backwards. So it's actually uh, capturing a lot of the ambient sound around the mic that's going the other direction. Now what it can do is it's got a little uh, processor built into the microphone and you can actually subtract or attenuate, not really subtract, but attenuate uh, all of the ambient sound away from the shotgun to make this even more directional. Uh, and now you're, what you're going to get, and this is not just a, a regular audio output, um, this is actually an a AES-42 that's going out. Now you can take that right into a sound devices or you can take it into a converter box like this. And what that's going to do is give you two channels. One is the raw output that's coming out of this microphone here, and the other one is the, is the digital output that's, that, that was calculated from these two pieces here. You can decide which one sounds better to you uh, later. So um, that's a pretty uh, slick uh, uh, process here. Now, there's another one here that's kind of cool. You're probably looking at this and you're going, I don't understand. Uh, so this is the, this is, this is the, it is the, um, how this microphone works is you basically, uh, what you want to do is you want to get surround sound. You want to get a lot of information around this. This is something that is just starting in the United States and to be honest with you, the Europeans are way ahead of us on this one. So what you have here is you've got a mic and this one's capturing a figure eight. So it's capturing sound both directions. You've got another mic here that's capturing to the front and another mic here that's capturing to the back. And what it's doing is, is it'll use a difference matrix, um, either plus or minus, to actually uh, figure out, you can later, with their plugin, that'll work in just about anything, start to figure out where you want to point that later. So you have a lot of control for surround sound and so on and so forth by having these mics capture all that information around it. And so um, definitely, uh, as I said, it's something that is new uh, in the United States, something they've been doing a lot in Europe, and uh, it's a pretty slick microphone setup. So definitely check it out. Once again, it's Sheps. So we're here at Zaxcom, and uh, these guys have, they have a crazy set of uh, tools for wireless communication. So what you have is, these are little transmitters, so this is a little connection here, and uh, these little transmitters will digitally broadcast your mic, it'd be like a mic like this, uh, it'll digitally transmit it to a, to a receiver. Now, the other thing that it does is because it's doing all that conversion, it will actually save the information right there. A lot of times, you have some kind of problem on the other end, you have some kind of problem in the middle, you have some kind of problem, and you want to make sure that you actually got the audio. We can always resync the audio as long as we get it when we're recording it. And so this records it at the position of the mic uh, bef you know, before it goes anywhere, and so you have it all there, um, but th it all goes out and it, you, it basically interfaces either with a receiver, this receiver here. Now this receiver will pick up uh, up to two of these transmitters, and if they're doing stereo, it'll capture both tracks from each one, um, and it will then put it out on AES, which can go into a uh, into your mixer. So uh, now they have their own mixers. You can, of course, put it into anything. But there are a couple advantages to working with the the full system here. And that is that what you have here is you've got these faders here. When I change these faders here, I'm actually changing the the uh, I'm attenuating the information here. And so uh, so this is a, a direct control. It's done by through this little controller here. You can have as many of these mics set up as you want. You can even group them so that a, a group of them is connected to a fader rather than an individual microphone. So, uh, so it's kind of a kind of a slick setup. Uh, now you can also um, a lot of times you're, you're recording, so you're recording to whatever device, whether it's this uh, or a, or a sound devices or whatever you're using, and you want to make sure you get that information back to the camera so that you're getting nice clean audio in there. One of the things that you can do is use something like this. This is going to take line level in. It's going to send it to a to a receiver at the camera, and it's going to you know allow you to get that nice clean audio put right into it without. I mean, depend on the, like the camera preamps and all that stuff. So, um, so anyway, it's it's a really really great little setup that keeps everything wireless and everything communicating with with each other. And it's uh, it is great little pieces of equipment, and they're actually pretty competitively priced. I I, I don't know exactly what the prices are, but uh, compared to a lot of the other ones, uh, you, you're going to find that they're they're a pretty good price for this form factor, this size, and this stability. So once again, it's called Zaxcom, and you want to check it out.